Welcome to this video. In this example, I'll be using a hypermesh model to establish the connection to hyperstory. So let me go ahead and open my model. So here we have shape variables that exist within Hyperworks. And this is an OptiStroke model. So here we have nine different shape variables. And here we can see what each one of them controls. So for instance, if we want to preview this height or this radius, we can do it here, okay? Uh, now in this exercise, we're going to select what shape variables we'd like to send to HyperStudy. We're going to define our OptiStroke model, our HyperMesh model. We're going to test that connection, and then once the test model is run, we're going to point to which response we would like to track. In our case, this is going to be the displacement. So we are going to start by going to File, Export, HyperStudy. We're going to give it a name and a location. And we're going to hit Launch HyperStudy. Now we are going to select the shape variables that we would like to send to HyperStudy. And we're going to click OK. Now uh, we have asked this to launch HyperStudy when I hit OK, but otherwise uh, HM to HS2 file will be export from Hyperworks, and this one can be used later on to bring it to HyperStudy. Okay, so we see that we have our HyperMesh model type, and we're going to change this to OptiStruck. Now we see that we have our different shape variables. We have the upper and lower bound, and we can change these ones. Now we're going to test this connection. And then we are going to extract our response. So let's go to directory, approaches, and we're going to drag and drop our H3D file, okay? Now we're going to use the Hyperworks reader. It's gonna be multiple items at the multiple time steps. We only have one subcase uh, and we want to extract the displacement. And rather than the X component, we're going to select the magnitude next, and we would like to extract the maximum value. Okay, we're gonna hit finish, and we're going to extract the response.